My name is Sam Robinson. I'm a shoulder and knee specialist at the Jordan Young Institute. One of the problems I see in the office routinely are patients with shoulder arthritis. This can be a difficult problem for patients. They have increased pain, decreased function, and a difficult time participating in the activities that they enjoy. Over time, this can be treated with conservative measures like injections, things like that, to avoid surgery. At some point in time, though, when these measures fail, we move on to anatomic or reverse shoulder replacements. These are great surgeries, but they can be made more complicated if there's significant bone defects and bone deformity. We have computer navigation, which we can use during the surgery to solve complex problems with the anatomy. Um, we use this to template ahead of time the anatomy so that we can put the implants exactly where we want them to be, but also we can use instruments during the surgery itself to make sure these implants are in the exact spot that we planned. Computer navigation uses high resolution CT scans to create a very accurate 3D virtual model of the patient's anatomy. Here's the x-ray of a patient who had severe shoulder arthritis and significant bone deformity. Here is the high resolution 3D virtual model that is created with CT scans. On the top, you can see the normal anatomy of an arthritic shoulder with bone preservation and typical alignment. On the bottom, you can see this patient's severe deformity with significant glenoid bone loss and abnormal alignment. Using this three-dimensional model, computer software helps me evaluate the extent of the deformity and plan exactly where I want the implants of the shoulder replacement to be placed. During the surgery, my instruments have infrared sensors that communicate with the computer to help direct the placement of the implants to the exact location of the pre-operative plan. By using this technology, we were able to restore this patient's anatomy, relieve his pain, and dramatically improve his function. This technology is not necessary for standard cases, but can provide critical assistance in situations where severe deformity make proper placement of the implants challenging. At JYI, we try to get the best possible results we can for all of our patients. Even in patients with complex problems, we use cutting-edge technology necessary to get the best possible results we can.